This guy went into a town that was abandoned in 1982. What he found is as stunning as it is eerie. When you think of the perfect little town to live in, what comes to mind? I think of a picturesque small town surrounded by huge trees and mountains. It also has beautiful blue skies and nicely manicured lawns. I think of small mom and pop stores ran by the citizens of the community where people enjoy helping each other. The town would have a nice library, grocery store and hospital as well as other conveniences we've come to rely on. There is such a place and it's beautiful. It's a small town on the northeastern coast of British Columbia, Canada. The name of this almost perfect town is Kitsalt, BC. I say almost perfect because one very important part of the town is missing. The most important part, in fact, the people. Kitsalt, BC is a town with a very unique story. A sad story that's fading away like the fall leaves that cover the grounds before winter. Kitsalt, British Columbia was founded and built by the U.S. mining conglomerate Phelps Dodge in 1979. The town was built to sustain a mining operation of molybdenum, which is a metal used in steel production. At its peak, the town housed over 1,200 residents and had a hospital, a sports center, a theater, and a grocery store, along with the promise of growth and prosperity. Only 18 months after the town was opened, the price of molybdenum crashed and residents were forced to leave. Phelps Dodge purchased the homes back from the residents and asked them to leave. Some were forcefully removed from their new homes, and the once booming town was seemingly closed overnight. Everything was simply abandoned, as it would have been more expensive to sell it off than to just leave it behind. The books were even left on the shelves of the library. As you can see, everything was left as is. Everything was in perfect order, but they're just missing the people. After the last person left town, it was completely vacant. However, somebody left the power on. The power has been on for nearly 30 years, and the town still sits very well preserved waiting for its residents to return. This looks like the hallway of a school. Due to the lack of funds, people were only able to pack up their personal belongings. Everything else was left behind. Mailboxes left vacant and empty. I wonder what building this was taken in. It's so weird seeing a perfectly preserved building sitting there empty. You have to follow a long dirt road to enter the town which still stands in the middle of nowhere. Everything is covered in late 1970s decor and the names of the champions are still written in chalk on the board of the sports center. The town's backdrop is one anyone would be envious of. The place is stunning. Kitsalt has 94 homes. 200 apartments, a hospital, a shopping mall, a movie theater, a town and country restaurant, and a sports center. All the homes were left completely vacant. With the homes and structures being only three years old at the time of the vacancy, they're all in very good condition, even to this day. There must be quite an eerie feeling walking down the streets of Kitsalt.